It was the story of the year in Dublin GAA in 2016. Castlenock GAA club in their first year in senior football reached the county final in the most competitive championship in Ireland. Amazingly, the club isn't even 20 years old. Castlenock, who were only created in 1998, are into the Dublin Senior Football Championship final for the very, very first time. At the time, there were 60,000 people living in Dublin 15. I reckoned that from the projections that we got from the CSO and the council and that, there'd be 120,000 in the Dublin 15 area within 10 to 15 years. That was really the logic that said, there's a lot of room for, for GA clubs here. Then we started a campaign, and our campaign was very basic. You know, we produced little flyers, put them in the doors, and then teams of us went around knocking on doors, asking people, you know, are you interested in the GAA? Do your kids want to play? The first couple of months was just trying to get a name, uh, establish a club, you know, get clearance with the county board. Very humble beginnings, I can assure you. I suppose the first big thing that, that put us on the map, as it were, was to fail it in 07. The likes of uh, Kieran Kilkenny and Graham Hannigan, all them guys won an All Ireland hurling fail, which was incredible. Really. All the way up from um, under eight, we were competing at Division One level, and it was brilliant having not even found in 1998. And I suppose there's a core group of that lads now that are on the senior hurling and football teams, which is great. So when we won that, that was a wake up call to, to us, I suppose, as well as everything else. But people started to really take notice then, they, they realised there was something going on here. And every year we've um, got success whether it's in football and hurling so when I would have left um, minor we would have been in Division 6 football and hurling and we've um, jumped up the ranks now to Division 1. Every year you keep thinking well that was brilliant we can't beat that and then you go on and you beat it so uh, it's been great. We're, um, we're players on the ladies football team, the uh, Isles first team. We're here at nursery now we're coaches of the girls side. Football and camogie yeah, so we've great numbers down here at the moment. We normally have about 60 girls here on a Saturday morning. Well, myself, I think I've been involved maybe 12, 13 years. I'm starting to play with girls that I coached in the nursery. Yeah. So I would have been born in 1993 and the club was found in 1988. So I would have been the first uh, crop of lads and girls that started with the club. So it's great to see the, where the club has got to now. It's down in Tiernan Oak, what a great name for where everything started. Um, practicing our skills when we were four or five years of age and that w was where it started and that's where our nursery is still to this day. The ladies section are unbelievable and especially um, at underage level they're incredible. That was the first year we probably had two teams you know and we both reached championship finals and both lost by a point. Looking back on it now it was a really good achievement the fact that we had two ladies teams both represented in championship finals. So I kind of this year it's kind of motivating both teams for to go that step further. Actually, the ladies footballers and camogie team are doing what we were doing five years ago. They're winning championships, they're getting promoted year year in year out, and it's great to see. Hopefully, we can see them playing senior um, in a couple of years time. The other thing that really strikes me is the sense of community. You can't touch it, but you can feel it. If this club wasn't here these people probably wouldn't have had any community focus, and it's given them that. Johnny Corcoran there is one of the founding members of the club 19 years ago, and here he is now hanging up uh, banners for the club on, on a Saturday morning. You know what I mean? He's out cleaning the park at half seven or eight o'clock this morning, just making sure there's no dirt or anything in the park. Everyone that I'm involved with is involved with the club in some way. It might be in the club shop. Well, the shop is very important, it really is the hub here on a Saturday, it's where everybody meets. It's been nicknamed a couple of names, it's been called Wonderly Wagon, The Hut, anything, it's called a lot of things. It's always there, it's a constant, you know, wherever the nursery is on a Saturday morning, we're here as well. It's not all just about kind of hurling the football, but just, that's a social aspect. Dublin 15, it is, it's very new, and as regards social cohesion, I think Castle GA Club is more than playing its part in kind of um, in building a community rather than just a bunch of houses. And through hard work, dedication and a good culture. I suppose when you put them all together with fun and a good strong knit community that are all striving for the same thing, um, you can be very powerful. So hopefully we can keep that up, maintain our identity, our culture and if we can do that we, we can really reach a special place. Yeah.